Alright, it's a time we've all been waiting for. Reassembly. And while I'm going to assemble it, I also got to tune it. Hopefully I tune it correctly. But before I do, there's something missing on this manifold. Let's put it on a tripod. And I'll just say the magic words. Abracadabra. Ah, there we go. That's more like it. I'm gonna plug in the plug the air inlets, and I only left the number three open because that is the first bell I am going to put together. All right, here we go. That was one. number three, all ready for assembly. Just gonna get my gaskets. All right, here we go. Got all ten gaskets. Keep it right in there for safe, safekeeping. And for the number three, I gotta use two large gaskets. Now let's put these in a safe place. Right in, back in the postage. There we go. I gotta go. Gotta get on the other side. Now I'm gonna make this configuration all bells facing forward. So, without further ado, let's put this behemoth back together. Alright, there we go. Now, I just gotta be careful about doing this part because you don't want the diaphragm to to bulge out like that or else you'll screw it up. So I just gotta bring this upright like that and just screw it in. Alright, there we go. This thing's ready for tuning. I just gotta get some air in the tank. Alright, there we go. I only got about... about... Yeah, let's say 50 pounds in a tank. Now my now my setup is just a simple garden hose with a uh, three quarter inch to half inch, and that goes and that screws directly into the manifold. Now, if I'm correct, from from watching a few videos, I. I, if I put air into it, I should be getting a hum, and then as I tighten it, I should be getting a solid note. So let's just get my spanner wrench, see what Tex did. Alright. Oh, I forgot one thing. Because I'm in a, a fairly small enclosed environment hearing in protection is a must so here we go let's see how this sounds I just think I need more pressure in the tank. Let me just build it up first. All right, let's try that again. This time I'm sitting at sitting at around a hundred pounds. So here's take two. I've also tightened down these 
these air inlet blocks, air inlet screws, and also loosen the back cap again. So hopefully, I get a better example of it. So here we go, take two. Scanner wrench right here, and here we go. Also, let me sure I can see hearing protection too. much better. That's the way I want it to sound. So, got one bell. And, oh wow, even just that one, even just that one tuning, I dropped about 50 pounds. So now, got one bell down, four more to go. Well, technically two more at this moment. Alright, let's, let's do it at number four. Uh, we'll save this for future tuning in case if I so when I get an M3 and after I clean that up I don't know when I'll get one but only time will tell because this is a number four bell gotta get two more gaskets and today or for this bell we're selecting the two smaller gaskets which are these two guys right here these guys look perfect for the number four, don't they? So, put you aside, and then the rest in my fancy, fancy storage area. Alright, there we go. We're sitting back at just over 90 pounds. Here's my hearing protection. Ah, oh, there it is. Alright. This is number four. And again, hearing protection. This is it definite? There we go. I'm happy with the way that one sounds. Sure hope it sounds good. If not, you guys will tell me, I hope. So now let's tighten her up. Let's tighten up the Alright, there we go. So now the last one I can do for right now is number five. Alrighty. 
Alright, next time I'm going to lower you down a bit. I just want to try and see if I can get a better shot, because I don't know how the other two... How the other two times I tuned it went, so I want to see if I can try and get a different angle, just in case. If the other two angles were blocked by me. So, here is the number five tuning. Uh, if you saw... If you saw my time lapse, I had trouble getting that on. I actually took it back off. I just wanted to make sure that there was that the diaphragm was seated properly. And looks like after a couple turns, it went in pretty easily. Well, easily enough where I can just simply turn it by hand now. So I I, I think that was probably like some dirt that got in the way. Some. Dirt that didn't go away from media blasting. So, here we go. Tuning in M5. This is the number 5 bell. And as always, I just have this just, just under hand tight. So you're going to be hearing a hum. And then as I turn it a little bit, a little bit more, putting more tension on the diaphragm, it sh you should start to hear a solid note. So that is what I'm aiming for afterwards. I just want to move this over a bit, so there we go. Uh, and again, I'm sitting at exactly 90 pounds. And as always, hearing protection is required. Or, it's not required, it's a definite recommendation. So, here we go. Let's see, number five. Now I just want to make sure that, that there is sound coming from it, so I'm just going to sound it for, for a brief moment and put my hand in front. If I feel the, the sound waves hit my hand, I know it's working good. Alright, All right, so all three bells is working good. This is how, this is where I'm at in my M5 now. Let's get you off the tripod. Alright, there we go. So I got bells 3, 4, and 5. I got the number 2 and the number 1 still in the bin. And I am waiting for those in the shop. They should, they should arrive at the shop either today or tomorrow. I'm going to ask, ask my friend, see if he got them. He's down in Missouri. And it'll probably take him about a week to actually fix them up, and probably about another week to send them back. So now, this is where I'm at. Hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and hopefully I did it, hopefully I tuned it correctly. If not, you guys, one of you guys will yell at me, saying that, hey, you did not do it right, or it is out of tune, and hopefully you guys will show me or send me the exact cord of this thing. So, let's just take this off. And I have about 60 pounds. So, and I don't like to store pressure in a tank, so what a better way to release it. Last time I did this, the when the gaskets fell out. Oh, here we go. So I have a little air coming out. Uh, oh, here we go. Just got it hooked up to my 12 gallon tank. And I have my fancy little male to male, female, female, 5 gallon tank, quarter inch, 3 fourths valve. 
So, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for when Bells 1 and 2 come back from the shop. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.